Val didn't tell you she offered me a job. Your lying Valency wouldn't hire a traitor. And yet she hired you. <laughs> Today we are back with the next chapter of French Kiss on the episode app. In the last one, our character got a job offer from her rival company. So she works for this fashion, a big fashion designer, but she's just an intern, even though she has a swimsuit line that sold out before she got made an intern. Why she wasn't a designer at that point, I don't know. But anyway, someone else wants to snatch us and give us a real position, except our current boss saw us as we walked out. Not only that, but the heat is lit with this model named Blue who like also works at our fashion corporation, our current one. He's like one of the big models there. So things are heating up between those two. So we are going to see what drama occurs because we have to be in our boss's office because she's pissed. But let's see what tea spills in this chapter. I hope you guys are excited. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Why did you come here? So this is the model and this is Alana, our girl. So they are having a little moment here. He showed up. I feel like I should have scared you off by now. I think it's pretty obvious why I always come to meet you. And why would that be? Girl, he has, he likes you, Alana. Why else? Why? Alana, let's not do none of this. I'm so awkward when I see you. In your defense, he was the awkward one horribly on the first date. It's mildly pathetic, to say the least. But what about those few moments where we let go of the pressure that we keep putting on ourselves? And didn't y'all just have a really good first date and I thought we already went through this? We already talked about this. I guess you have a point. I'm gonna let you process everything that happened today. I'll call you tomorrow. I would love that. See, let's just keep it cute. There's no need to start all of that. And I think she's gonna fire me, Jay. What do I do? Look, I've said it once and I'll say it again. You didn't move across the world to be a barista for Valencia. We rest our case. I say you go in tomorrow and tell Val to go fuck. Josie, I still respect that. <laughs> but maybe you're right. I am right. I am being sought after and I need to show her that. I'm no one's personal barista. I'm going to be the best designer Paris has ever seen. Period. Wow, I love having a powerful woman as my bestie. And as the powerful woman that you are, what are you going to wear tomorrow to show you, to shove your talent in all their faces? See, Nikki, our rival at this company, has been trying to sabotage us and say when she can have the little, the upgrade, if you want to call it an upgrade, because we're getting out of here. Wait, let me show you. Okay, but if I wear this cute outfit, what do you think? OMG, Alana, you look amazing. That I'll show them. Uh, this dress is perfect. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. They're gonna regret losing me. I'm so happy that you get a chance to work at a place that'll really appreciate your talent. That dress is just an engrossed. Are we gonna straight up, like, go in there and quit? Because I'm ready. Thank you, Josie. Before you hang up, what's the update with Blue? I don't want to jinx anything yet. Let's just say everything is starting to look up, although you tried to ruin it earlier, Alana. But here we are and things are starting to look up, thank goodness. Tell Harlow to stop contacting my employees or she won't be allowed at another show again. You know what? Come in. We're leaving. Bye. Val, I don't understand why you took that meeting, Alana. Do you not understand how embarrassing that is for me? Do you not understand how embarrassing it is that we're your personal barista even though we already did an entire swimsuit line that we sold out? Having my employee go to the competition for a job, it makes me look like an incompetent boss. <laughs> um, okay. Valencia, they offered me a tour and I couldn't pass it by. I didn't think it turned into such a big deal. I never thought they would offer me a designer position. How did you even find out? Nikki told me she heard you speaking with Dan. Did you say they offered you a job? Yes, they did. I'm going to accept the offer, Val. I'll finish off my assignments I started before I leave. Tell her. Bye, Nikki. Bye, bye all of you. Alana, I brought you here and discovered your talent. If you want a designer position, it's yours. I would love that, but I don't want to be offered a job out of pure greed. I would love the job offer if you truly believed in me. I obviously believe in your talent, Alana. I've let your designs walk my runway as an intern, and that dress you're wearing now is incredible. Yes. Yes, it is. I would be a fool to let you go. Think about it and let me know by tomorrow morning. Okay, I can do that. Okay, off you go. Nikki. 
Nikki. Okay, let's let's unload this. So now she's panicked because we're talented. And we got offered a real job. And now she wants to play the whole like, I would be a fool to let you go. So now you get upgraded. So if this hadn't happened, we'd still be getting you coffee. Is that right? Because that's what I get from this. That just doesn't sit right with me, to be quite honest with you. What do you guys think? Do you think... I mean, I know she was kind of put on the spot, Valencia was, so... But... If she's letting interns, like, dress as walk the runway and do all this stuff, why has... How long was this gonna take? That's what I want to know. Like, the fire had to be lit under her ass, but this other company already sees the potential in us. So, Nikki, now we get to this person. Um, I'm not gonna be, uh, you're still here. I'm gonna say, what's up? What's up? What a failure. How does it feel to be fired? Um, I wouldn't know. Isn't your pick on the wiki page a failure? That's funny coming from the poster child of Epic Fails. Val didn't tell you she offered me a job. You're lying, Valencia wouldn't hire a traitor. And yet she hired you. <laughs> You bet. If you spent less time being intimidated by me and more on your actual work, you'd actually have a chance in this business. You really need to get over your petty teen drama. I don't need advice from someone like you. Clearly you do, Nikki, because... Well, I guess you should know my coffee order is a double shot on ice with all my milk. <laughs> Stay mad. Stay mad, Nikki. I cannot believe how stupid Valencia is being. Have you heard about what happened today? Oh, shut up, Nikki. It's time to grow up. What's wrong with you? And why are you carrying a box of your things? I got fired this morning. I should have never gotten caught up in your childish drama. Don't blame me for getting fired. You're just washed out. This company will pay for making a fool out of me. Good luck doing that with your outdated designs. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Did we care about him? No, we didn't. He was trying to take us down, too. Goodbye, good riddance. Well, I never thought today would end with a job offer. This should be a good thing. I wish she just fired me, though. Then I wouldn't have to make this decision. I have to text Blue. How are you busy? Almost done with the shoot. What's up? Oh, we got to text our man. Okay, I need advice. Meet me here and we can hang out when I'm done. I'm sending you my location now. Okay, Alana, just relax. Don't make him regret liking you. Where is he? Oh, Mr. Things being a football star over here. Okay. He's getting his photos taken. He's, I think we got the shots. I'm going to head out, Alma. Wow. <laughs> here he comes. Act normal. Sorry for not being ready. This shoot ran longer than I thought. No problem. You know she is shook inside right now. She wants to trace all the muscles. Can I just say that dress is so sexy? Are you trying to drive me crazy? <coughs> Them tight pants are going to show a lot blue. I hope you're okay down there. Would it be a crime if I said yes? It would be an honor. I didn't know football was big here. It's for an American catalog. Let me change and we can head out. You know, I'm not opposed to you keeping it on. Oh, keeping it on for what? Keeping it on for what, Alana? What are you going to do with him in a football uniform? Hmm, are you going to go to the locker rooms, Alana? Blue over here. Blue, how does it feel to be the new face on Santa Valentina? I'm sorry, Alana. It seems that Pops figured out about the shoot. Are you okay? Are the rumors true about your abs? I'd like to I'd like to hear more about that rumor to be quite honest. Who is the one with you? Are you dating? What's her name? She is hot. <laughs> Thank you. I got an idea. Let's talk to them. Why? You're a huge up and coming designer, they'll know your name soon enough. I don't know, Blue. Uh, you, I'm missing out on this opportunity. Can we just please get out of here? Let's run. Let's run. You fine. Don't be known, girl. It's so beautiful up here. I come here to think. I never brought anyone else up here before. You have a big decision to make. I hope it helps you like it helps me. What would you do? Honestly, I would take the new job. To be quite honest, I want to take the new job. Obviously, working for Valencia is a huge opportunity, but she should have appreciated you from the beginning. Harlow did make me feel comfortable and welcome during the tour. 
And no one there is out to get me like Nikki. Nikki is psycho. I would just ignore her. Just think of it this way. This is just one more pit stop until you have your own Paris Fashion Week show. Then they'll both hate you. That is the ultimate dream. I'm sorry, that always didn't talk about me. I promise I'm not always this dramatic. Everyone has a little drama in their lives. How about this? Next time I'm taking you out on a date. And all we'll talk about is you. Well... You only have to tell me as much as you want me to know. It's a deal. I have another place I want to take you before we head back home. Okay. Where? Wow, this place is beautiful. I hope it'll bring your mind at peace. I'm not really the best when it comes to giving advice. Are you kidding me? You made so many valid points. I hope I don't have to choose this. I hope she chooses this herself. Are you okay? You know, you're the only girl that's ever made me nervous. Oh, we got him weak at the knees. Yeah, uh, you don't have to worry. I'm not really the shy type either. Well, it's not only that. I am just plain out terrible when it comes to reading the moment. I think he's been fine. The only flop was that first date and they were low-key both messy, but ever since then it was fine. If anything, she's been the messy one recently. I never know when the timing is right. Don't worry so much. Don't think about it. It's fine. Just go for it. You want to do the kiss? Let's just forget I said it. Blue. I waited for myself to finish the sentence, but not a word came out. A word is not coming out. Yeah. His voice sounded a tad deeper, clouded over like he needed to clear his throat, but he was afraid of doing so. A word is not coming out, but a tongue sure is. Hesitantly, I grabbed his hand and gave it a squeeze. He smiled at me. (laughs) Oh my gosh, girl. Kiss him with everything you got. Take control. Don't wait for him. Blue walked closer to me and removed any space left between us. I was being consumed by his presence and my lips finally found a way its way to his kissing blue was like nothing i had ever experienced i pulled him close enough to smell his shaving cream and that scent that is just ham oh she's sniffing over there butterflies threw deep within and heat covered my cheeks as blue deep the kiss the sound of the river danced with our heavy breaths and the world around us stopped being in his arms, his lips painting a mind in passionate strokes. Strokes, you say. Okay. Safe, secure, wanted. He felt like home. I can't believe everything is starting to fall in place here, so she had a really good night. Not only did she have two job offers on the table, that one dude's fired at work that was trying out to get us. He wasn't technically the main guy out to get us, but he was helping Nikki, so he's just as bad. And then on top of that, we had a nice little date with Blue, so... I miss my dad and friends so much, but Blue helps make it easy. He makes the city feel like home. I know exactly what job I want to take. It's time to stop being a baby and take some risks. Tomorrow is the first day of the rest of my life. Okay, wait, hold up. So she's going to take the new job? I'm, I'm proud of her. Okay, so that is the end of the chapter. So... Well, we confronted Valencia, or well, she confronted us, technically. She offered us a job, but... Besides the fact she saw us back in the day and didn't even, mm, mm, mm. she only saw her potential because someone else saw her potential. So is Valencia really good to stay with or should we go to Harlow? You guys tell me. I think she's going to make her own decision, which I think she's going with a new person. But what, what would you guys do in this situation? How would you handle it? Her and Blue heated up. Their mouths finally met. It had been a long time comma, but they met. There was no speaking. I mean, there was there was a special language being spoken between them, but we don't know what that was. They were just going at it. And now the next day, we have apparently a big project according to the description of this next chapter. But let me know your thoughts and feelings on the chapter. Please go follow the amazing author. I will link their um, name in my social, my description box down below. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye, everyone.